Right, I just want to give you a few planing tips uh, now. Um, planing a piece of wood to its face side and face edge, i.e. so that you've got two datum surfaces at right angles to each other, straight and at right angles to each other, is a basic skill of, of woodworking. And I just want to show you sort of a couple of things that might make this easier for you. One is planing straight. A lot of people have trouble with planing in a sort of a banana shape. Um, what you've got to aim for is to try and keep the plane flat on the, on the wood. Uh, and the way you do that is by at the start of the stroke you have pressure at the front of the plane and then at the end of the stroke you don't need to have any pressure at all at the front. The, all the pressure is at the back here on the hand that's pushing the plane forward. So press down at the front, at the beginning of the stroke, and no pressure at the end of the stroke. And that should stop you working like this where you're going like that during the during the stroke of the planing. <clears throat> now I've got a an edge here which I prepared earlier, which I know is out of square. So if we work from this face side that I've just created, you can possibly just about see the light shining underneath that square. And again at the other end it's shining underneath at the other side. So if I mark on where the high points are on this piece of wood, we've got a high point there and we've got a high point here because the light was shining under this side and that side. Now how do we go about getting rid of those high points? It's all to do with positioning the plane. You'll notice when I was planing earlier I wasn't holding the handle, I was holding it here. And that's because when I'm planing I use my index finger as a fence to move the plane around. And if I want to remove a shaving, more of a shaving here and there, I can do that by the positioning of the plane. If I have the plane biased on this side, it will cut more off this side. If I biased on that side, I'll have more on that side. So if you watch what happens at this point, you can see I'm taking a shaving off which is thicker on the left hand side and then if I move the plane over as I'm planing can you see how the shaving is getting thicker we get the shaving coming off on the opposite side on the right hand side so I can take a shaving off that will be thicker here and thicker there just by moving around where I'm planing if I do one more with a bit of luck I'll have a square piece of wood The acid test. That's not bad, is it? What about the other end? Ooh, I'm a little bit out there, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm not so good there. But that one's alright. So I need to take a little bit more off on this side. So what I'm going to do is bias on this side and then go straight down the middle the rest of the way. Whoops, my wood's moving. <laughs> See how that's done. No, a little bit more. Tighten the vice up a bit more this time. Still a little bit there. Mm. I think we're going to run out of film soon, so let's a couple more tries. That's better. Well, I'm happy with that. So, those are a couple of fundamentals of planing your wood straight and square.